Hey everyone, welcome to Lviv. Basically, uh, someone in this apartment complex found some toys that were obviously lost. So he decided to put them in this undercover area and, um, and hopefully the owner would come pick them up. Unfortunately, the owner never came, but everyone else in the apartment complex, found whoever found lost toys, would bring them here and place them here. And basically this was uh, an area where you could come and find your toy if you lost it. So this has now become an area where if you lose toys, you come here and see if someone's uh, brought it here. And if, if it is your toy, you can come and pick it back up. Uh, if you find toys, you bring it here and uh, hopefully the owner finds it. And this is across all of Lviv. Um, everyone kind of uses this area to find their lost and found toys. So if you come to Lviv and you're looking for buffet style place, uh, buffet style restaurant, there's a place called Open, which is in most shopping malls, I think. And it's like your traditional buffet style, but they have lots of um, vegetarian and vegan options as well. Secret word. There's no logo on the door. There's nothing. You got to find the door. 
and someone greets you at the door and asks for the secret password um, and then lets you in. So we're gonna go try that out. So one thing that happens constantly um, on this trip is we look for the sunniest day, we plan to do all our outdoor activities on a sunny day and every single time we go out it ends up snowing. It's snowing now. On the one day that it said it would not have any snow, no rain, nothing, and it's snowing. Of course. <laughs> to come up the uh, Lviv High Castle make sure you do a couple of runs beforehand because it is steep it is steep <laughs> getting up here I was pooped but amazing views of the whole city of Lviv which is nice um, little canteen at the bottom to get a bottle of water because it's so steep you can imagine a lot of people get puffed um, of course free attraction come to the top get panoramic views of the whole city, uh, free of charge. they serve it's kind of like their only street food place you can go to Lviv that serves dumplings so we're gonna try some Varaniki, Varaniki which is basically uh, Ukraine's version of a dumpling can you see what these look like <laughs> side of the cheese ones to share. I'm so pumped for this.
I ate these um, amazing dumplings. I uh, thought I'd explain why we're in a hostel. We usually get Airbnbs everywhere we go. Um, but our next stop in Ukraine is Chernivtsi. Chernivtsi? Chernivtsi? So tomorrow we go to Chernivtsi. Um, our original plans were that we would be leaving today, but we went to the train station in Lviv, where we are now, um, and basically there's no trains available today because they're fully booked out by all the students. All the students in Lviv go home to the country towns, um, so there's no spots available. So we had to try and find a place where we could stay for one night, and this hostel was our best option. So we're here, it's pretty good, it's not bad. It cost us about 55 Australian dollars for the both of us, um, which is still pretty good. I think that was 500 for Ritner.